I was happy with her until my fucked up comment. This is this is awful. <laughs> I thought he wasn't like the other boys. Quite shy not to mention gentle. I was happy with him for a while, but it's too late for him now. He apologies too late. Yeah, happy has a, 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 a fucking capital letter at it. I tried to say sorry to her, but to no avail. I loved her, and still do to an extent. She had moved on with her life. She's already got someone else to replace me. She left me to suffer in a pit of guilt, sorrow, and depression. I shall speak to her later if I see her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just started reading the, t the petals fall twice. <laughs> I shouldn't have dumped him so soon. I should have been pacient with him. Pacient! I <laughs> I'd nice. like to give him another chance. I texted him, but he hasn't replied yet, and probably never will. Aww. I guess he's angry and heartbroken? Well, he deserves it. It's his fault in the first place for being a total ass and making that... COMMENT! comment. <laughs> I think it's started to go wrong at the cinema. She wasn't as talkative to me as usual. She didn't leap into my arms as he usually does. Okay. <laughs> Gender change. Even when we were hugging and holding te holding hands in te cinema, te she cinema. never seemed happy. Afterwards, we briefly kissed and said good be. <laughs> that, that's computer. just you ad libbing now. Over the computer, I made the mystique comment. She dumped me there and then. I still like her, obviously. I want to be at least a friend. I think I shall not tamper with love again. I don't. Uh, I don't understand it. You think he's ad libbing, but he actually spells good B. Blazer one two five on the twenty eighth of February two thousand and ten. I would like to read a part of the petals fall twice because I just fucking got to page. What was it? One hundred and forty three, and I just seen she s slowly licked and tickled his peenie. <laughs> And because she was so smart, combined the words in her head, and an expression, this explorer of old, popped, slicked, as she thought, I'm slicking his peony. <laughs> oh, that is an extract from Jade Goody's memoirs before she got cancer. No matter how brilliant her words She's were, like a national the results were the Nick? same. Gary's peony was now erect. It felt like a quality bar of penis. Fraser, directly so right, directly right of you is uh, the other base, and he's got a mobile. Right, my, my land speeder spotted him. Okay, good. Without warning, she gave it a swift headbutt because men like that. A swift oh, headbutt. Men like that. Whoa, Melanie, that's the good stuff. That's the stuff that makes me forget about all my problems. You know what? See that voice, right? That is the sound of a, a fucking Sonic fan fiction. <laughs> Melissa derived satisfaction from this comment. Despite the mangled pronunciation of her name, she could feel her horny levels rising to 30%. Th and her Thua was right slimy with anticipation of participation. I see you shiver with antisip. Antisa? Antisa? He's gone, has he? Patient. Gary! Me need sex inside now, please. Damn, Melissa thought. I wish there was a better way to say that. Makes sense. Gary was but... too eager to comply. He wrenched his peony away from Melissa's grubby paws and thrust it inside her hua with thunderous orgasm. <laughs> she was pregnant, but that could be dealt with in the morning, provided she was still alive. What? <laughs> yes. Outstanding stuff, Melanie, Gary chortled. I knew I could just go to sleep now, but I would like to continue satisfying you, sans peony. Fraser, you do not need this many turrets. Gary nudged downward. I and probably his don't, was no but I'm building them anyway. What do you have in mind, E? Just sit back and relax, kitty cat. Kitty <laughs> cat. Melissa did just that falling back into her bed and stretching her perfect seven body away from <laughs> even for perfect Gary's seven. <laughs> he started working his magic immediately and she felt an all too familiar heat rising from her breast. Gary was crouched over her top of her and pooping all over her unbelievably 
average body. Gary, so stinky. <laughs> just, just the poop, baby. Let it work its magic. I, I can't see anything. That's because you're blind now, Mildred. Dun, dun, dun. That was an extract of the Metal Small Twice, as read by Slot. Charles Dance. <laughs> as read by Tywin Lannister. Charles, the Lord of the Dance. Fraser, your Land Raider is still over there. Curses. What is going on? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's still going! As he teleported his monolith away again! Yes. Yeah, there it is. Razor behind you. That poor lonely land speed. Uh, just that just brings it into range of everything I have. It was better off where it was. Yeah, I'm getting bored. I'm trying to end this game. You could end it by not teleporting everywhere. You could do. It. You, you're building another fucking monolith. I see it. It's right there. Stop building monoliths. Stop it, please. <laughs> 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 I have already got an hour's worth of footage to fucking edit down to ten minutes. <laughs> You're making it harder for him. Ten minutes? I say ten minutes. Probably gonna be like half an hour. But I'll edit it into like three ten minute parts. More DEFCON! Well, Fraser doesn't like DEFCON. Shit, let me put Abby's in the um, press Why space not? to win. They just play it without me. Okay. Why don't you like DEFCON? I'm pretty sure you've, you've played that game, uh, press just... space to win. No. Uh, basically, it's, it's a Newgrounds game, and uh, <laughs> directly below you, Fraser. One of the reviews of the game on uh, Newgrounds is hilarious. Here comes the Smurfs. Here comes the Smurfs. The Smurfs are coming. There's no sign of Gargamel. Oh wait, he's in his fucking monolith. There's a there's a new grounds game where you press space to win and that's all you do, and the top review of all time is by Axeman13. It goes, I really don't want to say this, but I have to now. This game is so easy. I mean, all you have to do is hit the space bar. Oh, I remember that's that one. It. Yeah. Fraser, you're going the wrong way. How is this an RPG anyway? To the you... left of where you are now, where your land raider is. You can't contrail anything. Can't contrail. You can't but... marry Mary quite contrary. All you can upgrade is strength. He's got another fucking monolith. God damn it! Biakua. This is going to be the name of the final episode. It's just going to be he's got another fucking monolith. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them right next to each other. Oh, stop making I'm them! Just... Stop it! Let's just three get monoliths. rid of these. Three monoliths in a row. You knock one down and Nick makes some more. Three more monoliths on the wall. You take one down, you toss it around. Then there's another fucking tomb spider in your base. They're all outside my turret base. <laughs> oh! Yeah, there they are, right there. They're just having a little <laughs> lie down. A little rest. They're on their fucking backs like wasps on a carpet in summer. I have no idea how you're editing this episode, but I can't wait to see. It's just gonna be catchphrases. It's just gonna be us going... <laughs> oh! It's not even gonna look like a game, it's just gonna look like some sort of epileptic fit noises. I'm gonna just put it up saying this is a condensed version of two hour of an hour's worth of find the fucking monolith. And here we see that the fucking end the La fucking revolution. Ah. So yeah that was GG That was an interesting game. Skeletor so Fraser with... won Skeletor won, yeah. So Thanks for watching guys and we will see you all very soon for another video. Not another video of this fucking game though. <laughs> God damn it. No. Next time it's gonna be Eldar versus Eldar. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you all very soon. Ta-ra! Ta-ra! Goodbye!